Hey friends, you are with Kim Byers at the Celebration Shop and today we are going to use the card mat with the Cricut Joy. So the card mat is something that's exclusive to the Cricut Joy machine as of right now. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I never really made cards. Um, very, very, very few. When I had my Cricut Explore Air and then whenever I moved up to the Maker, I still never really made cards with it. This card mat makes it so simple. And then they have new cuts in um, Cricut Design Space that basically make the card a one cut. So you can use the, the pen tool and you can you know, cut everything for the card in this one piece. They have little card kits, which I'll show you, and I'll show you the mat, and I'll show you how it all works. But it's super simple, and you can like make a card in just a couple of minutes. So I will never be that person going to the birthday party without a card ever again. <laughs> okay, let's hop over to Cricut Design Space. I'll show you um, what's available in Cricut Design Space as of today. I know that they're adding tons more designs as they're working through and getting the Cricut Joy out there. Um, but right now there are some darling ones. So let me hop over and show you that. Then we'll hit the craft table and we'll put it all together. Okay, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. And what I wanna show you is that whenever, everybody's homepage looks a little bit different, right? There are um, currently cards for the joy that are right here in Cricut Access. They're like the main thing on the homepage. This might not be the case by the time you watch this video and are making your own cards. So let's go in and let me show you how to find them. Okay, so we're gonna open up a new project. So here you can go into projects um, and you can search here. So you might find um, cards that you like in free for Cricut Joy under all the categories. Um, or you could go into images and search into cartridges. You could look for quick cuts. And they are adding a ton of cards to this, but right now you've got Patriotic and Graduation and um, some designer cuts. But for my purposes, we're gonna go back to the homepage. And, well, the homepage, we're gonna go back to projects and get um, a couple that I was wanting to make here. So, I mean, you can see I'm going a little bit fast, but you can see there are some darling, really darling, um, cards already in Cricut Design Space. And again, I know that they are adding tons more. They, they expect to have a lot of um, quick cut cards available as the joy gets up and, and launched. In this cute? You're cute and I ain't lying. That is so sweet. And it even has the pen tool. You can tell that part of this is pen. This has the pen tool. Uh, and then there's ones like this one that don't have the pen, so it's just a cut. And that's what we're gonna do first. We're going to do a simple cut I'm gonna do this hot air balloon card. We're gonna do a simple cut without the pen. And then we're gonna go back and do one with the pen. So when you're looking at the complete project like this and you select make it, it's going to take you directly to the mat. So it's really that simple. Like you don't even have to go in and try to resize anything. As a matter of fact, if you're using the joy and the insert cards, they don't want you to resize anything because everything is perfect just as it is. So what you want to do um, is just check over here um, without the mat, on the mat, on the card mat. You're using the card mat. Um, without the mat would be, we're not changing anything. Without um, the mat would be any of the smart materials. So we're not using smart materials today, we're using the card mat. Okay, we don't need to mirror. So we're going to select continue. And so it's connecting to my machine. Now the Joy machine only connects via Bluetooth. There is no cord from the Joy to my computer. Okay, and so when we get to setting materials, it's going to bring up things that the Joy uses automatically because you've got the Joy machine selected. So um, this is gonna be the insert card cardstock. So that's the little kits that you can get. Um, it's going to ask us for our fine point blade and then to load it into the machine. So let's hop over to the craft table and I'll show you how to load it onto the mat and everything. Now with the Joy, it has no buttons and I'll show you this, but it has no buttons. So you'll have to use um, your computer or if you're using your mobile device to select go when it's time to um, 
cut. Now the Joy has got automatic feeders that's going to sense the mat and it's going to feed it in so you don't have to click anything to feed it into the machine, but you will have to select the go button. Okay, so here we are on the craft table. And before we get started making our card, I just wanted to quickly show you, this is what the insert card kits look like. So they have envelopes and then they have, this one has three different shade of cards. So like the actual, you know, card. Um, and then it has three different shades of inserts. So I'll show you how all that goes together and how we work with it on the mat. Um, but I also wanted to let you know there's different kinds of pens as well. So there's uh, metallic markers and gel pens and all the pens that you can get with the other machines also come available with um, the Cricut Joy. So let's go ahead and make our card, but it's going to be somewhat like this. So it's going to have the insert piece and then the one cut on the top. And these two have the pen tool with them. But this first one that we're going to make, we're just going to cut. So let's get busy. Okay, so this is what the card mat looks like. So what you do is it has the protective cover on it just like a normal mat. But then if you look at it, it gives you instructions, um, you know, of how to place it in. And it's basically like a protective cover. It has a protective cover. So what we're going to do is we are going to take our card. I think I have it backwards, so I'll do. Our card, and then we are going to insert it into the mat. Super simple. So you place it in, and it butts right up against the edge. Okay, and so you can see in here, so we put it behind, and then you literally just fold it over. I mean, the score and everything's already there, and you press it down, because this uh, mat is sticky. And over time, because it does, you know, cut into this piece, it's just like a regular mat, it's going to go bad over time. Um, but it's good for tons of cuts, just like the other mats are. And so the Joy is going to automatically feed And then we have to go to our computer or our mobile device and select go. Okay, so I'm speeding up the video of the cut so you can see the entire cut, but it really only took 35, 45 seconds to cut the entire card. Wow, that was so fast and the cut is completely done. Okay, so now we've unloaded the mat and we just want to go ahead and pull this up and look at almost, it like does the weeding for you. So all of the cut pieces have adhered to the sticky mat portion and there's your card. So then we can just pull that out. We'll clean that mat off in a minute. Look how gorgeous that is. And then you just take these inserts they're different colors. We have pink, and in this particular set, there's gold and like a tan. I love the pink. And see these little corners here? You just use those corners and insert the card. So they kind of double as clouds. to be gentle just because I don't want to mess up my card and then we'll do that last corner although you can you can do that last corner or I might even um, just use a little glue dot and glue it down on the inside that could be really pretty too right but for the sake of doing it the way we're supposed to look how beautiful that turned out I love this. I will never ever seriously go to a party without a card again. I can't tell you how many times I'm like writing on the bag at the last minute with a pen. Um, but with this new Cricut Joy, that won't be the case. I can always go with a beautiful card. And if you looked at my blog post, I kind of broke it down, the price of the card kits. And that's when, um, you know, they're not even on sale, the price of these insert card kits and how many cards you get out of it means a card costs you about 50 cents. Yay! It turned out super cute, don't you think? Okay, so now we're back in Cricut Design Space and this time we're going to make a card that uses a pen. 
Although I love this one. I love you, mom. That's so sweet. Um, I have to make that one for my mom, like for real. <laughs> okay, so I love this one. You're cute and I ain't lying. Um, but I think I want to make... So many I want to make candidly which one do I which one do we want to make I wish I could talk to you guys um, let's go ahead and make this one <laughs> it is just too cute right I could give this to my boys okay so we'll make it it's going to take us directly to our mat. Okay, so we don't want to make any changes to this. Again, the ones that are developed for the Joy are perfectly sized. Everything is perfect, so you don't want to tweak that at all. Um, and we've confirmed that it's on the card mat. Okay, so again, this one has pin. So we'll select continue. And once again, we are going to use the insert card stock. Okay, so it's telling us that we are going to start with the pen. And then additional tools is a fine point blade. So when we go over to the craft table this time, I'm going to show you how you put the pen in first and then um, do all the writing on the card. And then we're going to swap it out and then we'll cut the card. And of course, on your mobile device or on your computer, it's going to give you prompts and things as well. This time on the craft table, we are going to use the pen tool with this particular card. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to go ahead, put our card stock, and I chose like a light blue, like a it's very light, like almost gray um, card. So we put that on our mat. So we have that ready, and the machine has already prompted us to use the pen tool. So this is when it gets fun, like you can use different color pens. I'm thinking I'm gonna try, the, I was kinda torn between the gold metallic marker and the blue, but I think I'm gonna try the blue. So it's literally as simple as opening up the clamp, taking out the knife, and putting in the new pen. Now, one thing that is different from the other machines, if you own one of the, the um, Explore Air or the Maker, you have to push the pin down till it clicks in those machines, and you do not do that with the Joy. So with the Joy, you literally put the pin in, close the clamp. You do not wait for a click, because you'll end up breaking the housing if you try to force it down. Okay, so now we go ahead, the machine is blinking. It sensed. You select go on your mobile device or on your computer. Because again, the Joy does not have any buttons. And then away it goes. Okay, and so now the pen is done. And what we want to do now is we want to open and pull the pen out. Always keep your pens closed, guys. They will dry out. And then we're going to reinsert our blade. Now select on your mobile device or your computer for the next stage, and we'll cut the card. Okay, so we've unloaded our mat. And this cut is a little more intricate than the last one that we did. So let's see how it does. Oh wow, the mat's doing a good job on this one too. Now it does have tinier little elements around the mane of the lion and that kind of thing. So we're probably gonna have to use our tools a little bit with this card just to clean it up and get all those extra elements out of it. But the mat does a pretty good job of weeding it for you. Check that out. Okay, so we'll pull it out and set our mat aside, and then we'll get our tools out and we'll clean up the card a bit, and then we will do our insert like before. Wow, pretty easy. Darn 
cute. Okay, so this time I'm going to use kind of a gold insert um, to place behind this because, you know, of course the lions. And I'm using a shimmery gold and it didn't come with this particular card set that the card came from. And you can also cut these yourself. Like if you wanted a color that was not in your card kit, um, you could always cut a little insert piece as well. Just put it in there. Oh my stars, how cute is that? And so easy. Okay, so one thing I wanted to show you, there are some insert kits that have these really cool acetate pieces. And I don't know what this looks like because I haven't done this yet, but how fun it would be to like layer those up. We could sort of see what the acetate looks like by itself. I mean, that's cute by itself, right, with the polka dots. Um, but then if we wanted to double it up and put it on top of this other gold and see, that's really stinking cute, kind of to give it another level. Yeah, I think I might stick with both of those. Ta-da! So cute! Okay, so I hope you're as excited about making cards with the Cricut Joy as I am. And I hope you'll ring the bell and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. We talk a lot about the Cricut Maker, the Cricut Explorer Air 2, the Easy Press. We use all types of materials and make all types of projects. And I have free printables and free SVGs cut files um, for all of my email subscribers. So I hope that you guys will hop down below and take advantage of all of that. And I will see you guys next time.